Hi guys, I'm back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a gym test of uh, the Google Fitness app. So uh, if you own an Android Wear like this, uh, then you have an option with the new OS to uh, do exercise tracking. Now there's one thing which is unique about an Android Wear uh, which was not there on this before and uh, this option is not there on any other band uh, which is auto uh, exercise detection. So it will automatically detect what exercise you're doing, how many reps you did and then uh, catalog everything and then show it to you. Uh, you have options of editing it in case it uh, found uh, something wrong or uh, maybe it did not detect the exercise properly then you can uh, edit it, you can change the name, you can put custom names also in case there is a machine uh, which is in your gym and uh, it's not uh, in the Google Fitness app then you can add that too. So let's go ahead uh, do some exercises and then see uh, how it actually works and what kind of data can you expect from this. Okay, so we're done with the exercises, so let's see what kind of data do we get. So I started with tricep extensions, so it showed all the sets over here, I did 4 sets, overhead press, uh, pull downs, uh, chest fly, tricep extension again, bicep curl, uh, upright row, tricep extension again, a lot of triceps today, uh, bicep curl, abdominal crunches, uh, tricep extension, bicep curl so you see most of the exercises it categorizes at tricep extension and bicep curl uh, it does not uh, detect any of your leg exercises so if you're doing any of these uh, leg exercises it will not detect that so most of the time it's accurate uh, like almost 70 percent of the time it's accurate uh, the times when it's not accurate you can actually select the exercise and then edit it so uh, you'll get a list of the exercises available so you can choose one of them in case uh, it did, uh, it showed triceps uh, triceps instead of bench press then you can just change it to bench press and then uh, the next time also it will show triceps uh, you'll have to change it again uh, but once you uh, do it like two three times then it kind of understands that okay he's doing bench press he's not doing triceps and then uh, that stays and in case you have an exercise which is not there uh, on the menu like I have few equipments in this gym uh, which are not available in the app you can actually manually add them too so that's also a good option you can directly add it from here you can type it or you can uh, say the name and it uh, stores that so uh, that's easy so it's very convenient so all you have to do is go to the gym start the exercise and then uh, it will automatically run now one good thing is it even gives you uh, interval so uh, like after every set if you want to give 30 seconds of break somebody's phone is ringing 
okay so in case you don't have the exercise in the uh, workout menu you can always manually add it and uh, you uh, whatever you add manually or whatever uh, you keep selecting again and again that will automatically come on the top of the menu so uh, next time if it finds uh, exercise wrong when you go to select uh, the right one uh, the commonly used ones will automatically be on top so you won't have that problem of browsing down and then searching for it now all of that is being done by the watch you're not taking your phone or you're not taking out your phone your phone is lying somewhere and everything is being done offline on your phone so once you get internet connection uh, your watch will automatically sync everything to your phone so you'll see all the data the only problem is uh, even though this has a heart rate monitor uh, the app does not give you heart rate detection so that's the only downside so I use a different band on my other hand for heart rate detection uh, but then uh, it's a different app altogether so I'll have to use maybe like a Fitbit app or MI app and then for this I'll have to use the Google app so too many apps I would like uh, maybe in future they might add that option onto it where it detects heart rate also but right now that's not there so all in all uh, very good option very different uh, you should try it in case you have uh, Android Wear device you should try this and it actually helps out a lot you do not have to go on changing the menu uh, you can keep on doing exercise just remember what you did uh, and then and later on you can go and edit the names of it in case if it's not right you also have an option of adding weights but you'll have to manually add weights onto it uh, that how much weights uh, did you do in the set uh, that you'll have to do it yourself that this will not detect so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye